Hi everyone, it's Ian from Now There's a Crafty Idea and I am here with a little craft along. So I was sorting through some things and I have found all of these envelopes. They're all window envelopes and I've got a bunch. They're all quite large um, and I just thought they'd make nice pockets um, for a, a nice large pocket. Or even I was thinking about making a couple of them into like flip outs as well. So first of all, I just wanted to get them collage and I thought you might like to come along and collage with me. So let's decide on what kits we're going to use because I've got a few different kits now um, printed out. And I want to use, let's see, I like, I wanted to use Gales because I love that one. And I have also got, if I can find it, I think I've got it further back. I've got these lovely kits from Joe Beth that I wanted to use. And then I've got some more papers from Antique Papery. So we've got those. So we've got plenty to play with. So I just thought, you know, we'll um, we'll maybe mix and match a bit or maybe just stick to one kit to give us kind of like a a little continuity but we'll start with Gail so let's just pop these other ones out of the way for a second I just love this kit I absolutely adore it it's just great it's quite the wrong way up <laughs> um, but yeah it's such a lovely kit so let's get started I want the continuity on them because I just want them to look nice um, and samey same so let's let's get started let's see what we've got so let's put these ones out the way while we pop them there and we can decide what we're going to do here. I love this bit and I want that to go down the side. But what I've been doing is I've cut them open so that I can more easily collage the inside. So I think I want to figure out what I want on the inside first and I kind of like that. I think that looks really cute. So where's my rule? I think if we just go to the side of that and then just check it and see there we go I think that fits nicely and then we can just hi sweetheart just pull this off there, that's it. Sounds really bad out there, is the wind getting worse? <laughs> he won't be beaten, he's still work out there working in the garden. <laughs> See husband. He gets antsy if he sits for too long, so <laughs> he's like, I can't stand this wind anymore, I don't care <laughs> if I get blown away, I've got stuff to do. <laughs> Me, I could sit and watch old movies all day, but no, he gets antsy. Right, okay, let's see what we've got here. A little bunch in that corner, there we are. And that just covers that window and when I decide to put like tags and things in it you know it's going to be nicely covered when you take them out. I don't know whether I want to cut this one down a bit because I'm going to sew around them anyway because then that would make that just a nice tag size wouldn't it and we could do a tag to go with it. Okay let's cut this one down a bit let's get it measured out and say about there maybe there's one more over there we go okay now if i'd done that before i did this it would have been easier but there you go anyway and i like i say i am going to sew around it let's just snip this off at the top a little bit too long okay now next bit 
suppose that could go underneath there, couldn't it? Okay, we'll do that. Let's just see. Oh, watched a lovely, a <laughs> great old film last night. Mike Myers, um, So I Married an Axe Murderer. I love that film. So funny. Um, and he just makes me giggle. He's just such a, he's got such a great sense of humour, Mike Myers. And um, yeah, it's one of my favourite films, that. I love it. So I was giggling at myself. <laughs> giggling at myself. Um, while I was just doing some fussy cutting, because I had a load of fussy cutting to do, because... Um, Guess who's been back on Etsy? <laughs> it's too samey same. Um, yeah, it's me. <laughs> so I've bought a couple more bits and pieces and I was printing them out. And um, I just sat last night with my scissors and did loads of fussy cutting while I was watching Mike Myers and it was so much fun. I'm not one just to sit and watch TV, you know. I, I, I've got to be doing something while I'm watching. Um... So the fussy cutting was just perfect. And uh, it just helps keeps my hands busy. What's your favourite thing to do when you sit watching the telly, craft related? Pop a comment down below and let me know. So I'm always uh, happy to hear from you. We've had two days of windstorms now. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. The wind is absolutely mental. It's the neighbour's gazebo went over the other night, and um, <laughs> my sister-in-law has a, um, a one of those gazebos that it's it's like it's screwed into the ground, and it's like the the metal frame, and then you've got the cover that goes over the top, and um, and her honestly her cover was nearly over the churchyard it really was <laughs> it's just blowing oh my word we thought we'd lost it um because she lives next door to me <laughs> it was just like yep all hands on deck <laughs> let's go and save the um the gazebo cover <laughs> We, yeah, we did have one, but we learned our lesson quite early on. But um, they just get blown to bits. This is one of the, um, the things that happen when you live near the sea. The windstorms up here are quite bad. I mean, we've had to have our roof fixed about five times since we lived here. And um, it's just because the wind gets, it whips up from the cliffs. And then uh, before you know it, you're, you're chasing your gazebo across the churchyard and your roof's flying off. <laughs> That's why I get so agitated with the wind. It just, um, it bothers me so. It's not that I'm frightened of the wind or anything. It's just that <laughs> I can't be bothered with all the hassle it causes and, um, and all the damage. So it could be worse. I mean, what our cold wind is probably a breeze to some people. Um, some parts of the world have hurricanes and tornadoes and things. And I get a bit of a windstorm and I'm complaining. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it's, you know, it bothers me. <laughs> if I put that like that, I should just grab the top of that bit. Okay. And this is all going to look very nice. Hold on, I need a bit of reference as to where I'm going to... There we go. I've got to say, I do love a bit of collage. It's so relaxing. I could even put that like that, couldn't I? just looks like a continuation. Or I'd, I quite like this bit of page here. I might just go in the middle. Whoops. Put it the right way. Quite like that, that's it. There we are. Right. Let's just snip these two bits off. So 
Still haven't got me gooby gone. I keep on forgetting to order it. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to leave that like that because I, obviously I want to sew around it. And I'm going to make the tag when I'm sewn around. I think. Because then I'll know exactly what size it is. And I want a snug tag. Right, let's do another one. Let's choose a different kit for this one. Let's see, what have we got? Let's have a look at Jarvis. I want to use this one. And then what I could do is use one of the adverts um, for to make the tag with. So that one's a cute one, isn't it? I like that one. Oh, look at these, are just so cute. I tell you, go across and buy them because they're absolutely wonderful. I like that one. Shall we use this one? We'll use this one. And then we can mix and match a bit. Right, I think I might leave this one the, the same, the, the size it is. I'll get there eventually because I think I might turn this into a flip out. If I just like, once I've done it, I can just fold that over. So I'm going to collage it front and back. So let's just get a nice big piece to put down this side and um, then get us started. Just leave a little bit of a lip there. That looks about right. Okay. Oh, isn't that cute? I like that. I like that a lot. Right, I'm just going to go straight up with this one. Very cute indeed. I might need a new blue page actually. I find it very relaxing now um, doing collage, which is probably good for us to do with all this wind going about. <laughs> Two days of wind has got me uh, agitated to heck. <laughs> there we go. Oh, that's cute. Could just use a little piece of that along the bottom, couldn't we? Yeah, that should work. It about there. It's about there, isn't it? I'm saying it's about there, isn't it? You can't even see what I'm doing because I'm off camera. <laughs> right. There we are. I love the way that people used to write. Lovely, isn't it? Right, let's see if we've got a different one. Oh, I like this one. Pop that up there like that. That'll look great, won't it? Okay, we'll do that. About there. Yeah, so we didn't get to the beach after all. The weather just um, decided to stop play. Um, so we had a, a little house picnic instead and that was fun there's no point in going sitting in your car when you can't even get out because in between all the um the wind we were getting rain as well and it was just oh not a nice day but now we're we've got the plans on hold but we've decided not to say anything <laughs> We're going to sneak up on the weather so it doesn't know <laughs> where we're going for our picnic. We're just going to up and go. <laughs> that way it can't do its thing. <laughs> um, you know what? I've got a little piece left off the gale one. That could look nice there, couldn't it? I just want to get that very edge off because I don't like the straight edge. Well, I know it's going to be a straight edge still, but it's going to be... A little bit raggedy and that would look nice there wouldn't it yeah I quite like that okay we'll put that one on I 
this is going to make a lovely little flip out now do i want do i want to um, put coffee dyed paper on the back you know what i might do because then you can when you flip it out you, you've got journaling space so i'm just going to reach over if you'll excuse me and just get some coffee dyed paper um, 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 um. I have been experimenting with my coffee dye paper and I've been getting some nice patterns where it's quite dark and grungy. Oh that one's not too bad is it? Um, so yeah I haven't finished yet because as you can see that <laughs> they're a little bit. I think what I might do is turn these into digitals so they're a bit more usable. Let's see what do we have. Oh, I think that one might work nicely. So let's get the rest of these out the way. There we go. Yeah, I think that'll be okay. Just got the polka dot thing on. And we can just do one big piece. I'm just going to move a few bits here. Right, this one can go and dry. There we are. It might be an idea just to glue this straight on and then cut around it. I think that will work better. And that way I'm... Um, I'm not going to tear it too small, which is something that I tend to do. Okay, let's just get some glue on. So, um... <laughs> My daughter, um, the youngest daughter, her boyfriend, he's a lovely lad. His dad actually lost his um, his dog at the beginning of um, lockdown, which is sad because he lives alone and um, his dog was his, uh, his you know, his, his, his true love, I suppose, you know, as pets can be. Um, but she was quite old. And um, unfortunately, she wasn't well, and he had to make the decision to have her put down because she was in pain. She wasn't going to get better. So he was quite lonely, and he's decided to get another dog. So he bought, and it's a um, it's a type of Akita, like a Japanese Akita, which, if you know Akitas, they can be quite big. So my daughter's been dying to go and meet it, but obviously because of lockdown, you know, she couldn't go because COVID. <laughs> need I say more um, so she wanted to go and to, to go and meet the new puppy and uh, anyway they finally got to go and see her they had to um, social distance still but um, they took some some wipes with them and they were able to pet the dog for the first time um, and she's just absolutely over the moon in love She's like, oh mom, this this little ball of fluff with these massive big feet came <laughs> came flopping along the floor, falling over his feet. <laughs> and honestly, she says he, he just he couldn't like keep his feet like under him because obviously <laughs> big dog, big feet. I might cover the whole back of this, you know. I might. And it might be easier because I'm because I am going to um, to sew around it. I'm just going to cut up the side just to make it easier. There we go. Okay, there we are. That's easier. I don't want to lose those lovely. I love them. But then, I, although she'll be, will she be in the window? I suppose if we. She's about the right size if we took a bit off the bottom. Okay, okay, I'm getting there. <laughs> but yeah, she says he was absolutely gorgeous. But um, obviously, she says the size of his paws is going to be massive. Um, <laughs> huge. Which um, I, I, I do like Akitas, they're quite nice dogs, but um, yeah, big. See, she's just going to be peeking out from that window, isn't she? That's perfect. Okay. So 
so I was quite jealous that I didn't get to go and see the new puppy. <laughs> But she says she was very, um, he, sorry, I keep on calling her a her, it's because his old dog was a her. He's quite, um, reserved, she says, for a puppy. And I says, well, obviously, you know, you're getting a, a dog in lockdown and it's hard to socialise a dog anyway, especially a puppy. And he's only just had his, his injection, so it's only just um, getting to the point where he can actually see people and and maybe it's great for walks and that and it's it, it must be really difficult during lockdown um to have a puppy and train it that's good just need trimming a little bit at the top but that's okay um because like i say it's it's i must have cut that skewy if it's all right because it's on the inside um so obviously yeah you, you, you know you're not getting people come to the house normally when someone's got a new puppy once they've had their injections everybody wants to meet the puppy and people are going over and you know and the puppy gets used to people and usually other animals you know because people will bring their dogs over to meet them but yeah it's um oh, i like that she's just peeking out from there these are such great um digitals thank you jo Beth. they're absolutely gorgeous I'm really enjoying playing with them. Um, so yeah, it's, it's it's strange. It's a. She says he's, he's quite re for a puppy. He's quite reserved. Right. What I might do? I'm going to sew across the top and the, the back, and then I'm going to sew the whole thing together. And while I'm on, I might do the same with this one. So I'm just going to grab the sewing machine, and then we're going to have a look and see what they look like. And then I might make a couple of tags to go with them. So. Sorry for the noise of the sewing machine. And I think I might just do a straight stitch. Or do I want a zigzag? I might do a zigzag. Okay, we'll do a zigzag. I'm going to do it close to the edge. There we go. And I'm just going to chop that off. Right, I'll quickly zigzag the back. I'm getting my threads all mixed up. <laughs> oh no! There we go, got them. Okay. But you don't have to necessarily do the back. I just, I want it to be the same as the front, that's all. It doesn't make that much difference. Okay, now let's just sew around. I'm going to do a little bit of back stitching on this bit. There we go. new cutting blade on my sewing machine because it's, it's just sort of framed them that looks nice i like that that's looking lovely now i need to make a tag to go inside and that's going to just be a stuck on pocket and more what would be nice with this one is you could have this as a pocket and then you could leave this side open and that could be a pocket as well so let's do this one because this one i want to make into a flip out so I might have to do this one slightly differently. decide how I'm going to do this flip out so I could just fold it over here and then that would just glue to the page or I could pop something in there 
as a hinge. I think. Let's measure it and see how good it is. So. It's about right for the page. I'm going to put a hinge in. I've made me mind up. We're going to hinge it. So it doesn't have to be perfect size because I can always trim the hinge down. But let's just make it. Let's just get it cut. Or torn as I should say. I'm going to go three centimetres because that's a nice size for a hinge. Okay. Now I want, let's just make sure I've got it the right size. I was going to leave it but now I've decided I want to um, round the edges just to give it a nicer look. Where's my edge round? We corner round up, there we go. So let's go do, do this side. It doesn't matter about the ones inside, that's not right. Why are you not going in properly? No, you're still not doing it. Try a different size. That's not... Why is that not working? Maybe if I do it on this one. <laughs> That's better. It's just because I was putting the raggedy corner in. There we go. That's better. Okay. Now we've got it. And I'm not going to bother with the inside ones because they're going to be sewn inside. Right, let's just... I'm just folding it in half. And then I'm going to sew this in. Should I put a bit of glue on there first? No, I think it should be alright. Right, I'm quickly going to sew this round while I've got it in the right place. You know what? It's shifting, so yes, I am going to put a tiny little bit of glue on. It doesn't need a lot, just a little. So it's nicely bent around the edge there, like that. Right there. Is that right? There we go. Now, there we go. That stops that from moving. Okay. we've got that done and that will just sit on the page so when I've got my book obviously this isn't the size of a um, journal but I'll have that so that it flips out like that and then that's going to be a nice flip out so you'll have a journaling space on the back sorry you can't see so I'll have that positioned on the edge of the page and then that will flip out and then you've got your nice pocket in the top and lots of journaling space there and then it'll sit nicely on the page yeah i like that nice okay you know what needs to be done now before we do anything else if i can find it i've put these digitals everywhere now i can't see it found it i'm gonna ink <laughs> right 
I definitely need to order some more of this um, this vintage photo because I think I'm, I'm, it's more than running out. It's getting dried up. Let's just cut these threads a bit better. There you go. That's better. And once it's had a nice, uh, a nice distress, it'll look better. I think I'll probably be able to get more than just a tag in this one. This will be a good spot for a big journaling card, I think, which will be good. There we go. I'm just going to quickly go around the edges of there because I forgot to ink. Just a little. There we go, that's better. I like that. Where's my other one gone? I'm losing everything today. What a big surprise. <laughs> right. Yeah, I'm going to have to get that ordered today. Otherwise, you know, I won't be able to ink. Oh, oh my word. That'll be a nightmare. <laughs> What? No ink, and I don't need to do the back of that one, but we will do these bits here. I should have remembered this when I was putting it together, but no worries. It's easily done. There we go. So there's two done. I'm liking them. And that's a nice flip out, and that's a nice pocket. So, we need a tag for this one. And we could do a nice journey card on this one. Now let me see. How about that that we've just thrown? It's not quite big enough, is it? Do we have some bigger ones hanging about? Do we do we? I think not. Right, one second. I'm just gonna grab a couple of journey cards. <laughs> from the stash of thousands that I've got and um, <laughs> and then we can make a, a nice big journaling card let's see what sizes do we have I'm just going to grab a handful and then we can go through them one of them is bound to be big enough and then we can get on <laughs> right I'm back I'm back I'm back okay and we've got a stack of cards right First of all, I'm looking at this one. That might be big enough. Let's see what we've got. So these seem to be the biggest. That one's a rather thick one. So it's between that one and that one. That one's going to stand prouder, isn't it? I think we'll do that one and then I think if I trim this a bit this will be great for a tag for in there there we go cool so first of all let's just get this trimmed down a bit so I know where I'm going I think it should stand about that far out there we go there's that one and I don't think I need to trim that one down at all so let's just move these over to the side and get our glue book. Now, we'll do the, the card first. It's still going to have room. So this is still, I think that this could probably get a couple of cards in actually. Why don't we do a couple of cards? And then we'll, um, we've got a bit of variety. So where was that other one? So there, we could do two. And then that's, that's going to be a lovely big pocket and you can even put some more stuff in there if you wanted. So let's let's get started. Where's our kits? So I've got this one. I wanted to have a look at the advertisements, didn't I? So let's have a look at the advertisements and see what we've got. I want something with a bit of a focal point. I, do, I love that picture. I don't know why, but I love that picture. Let's have a look and see. You would be able to see some of it. We could use that on one of them. So we'll pop that there. 
Right, let's have a look at these. I've already used some of them. <laughs> Isn't that cute? Let's see. Um, I've got little bits left over from the last project I did with them. Oh, she's nice. I like her. I think she's just too big, unfortunately. Um, the wonders of Aladdin. <laughs> Aha! She's cool. Yep, we're going to use her. So she's going to be on one of them. In fact, there's two nice focal points there because we could use that on one and that on the other. I'm liking them. Okay, let's see. Do we want any others? I kind of like the text on that one. That's a newspaper. Okay, we'll use that. Oh, we've got another one there. Okay, plenty of focal points in those. I'm loving it. Okay, let's see. I might use a little bit extra. Now I've got that that's off that piece and there's that piece as well. Where did I put? I did have some music paper. I'm just going to reach over and get it. Yep, yeah, I've got a little stack of bits and pieces here as well. So let's see what we've got. I've got that music paper. Right, we'll use a bit of music paper too. So let's tidy up a bit. So I've got stuff everywhere. Now I know what I'm doing now. Now I've got it. Okay. So card number one. Oh, we might as well do both cards together. And we might as well start on the tag as well. So let's get everything in front of us so we can see what we're doing. Right. Just going to tear that bit off there. Right. And we can have that come in there. I'm liking that. Glue always helps. And let's get that bit on. And I will sew around these as well, just to, so that they all match up and they've got that nice finished look about them. You can go on here. I'm just going to take that edge off. I didn't take it off on the other one. I'm going to just take it off. There we go. Okay. It doesn't have to be perfectly straight. So I can always trim them. Oh, you can go in the middle, actually. Or shall we put you on the tag? We'll put you on the tag. Perfecto. And then one nice big piece here. Let's just get this edge off. Right. I'm going to leave that on because I'm going to collage over the top of that bit. I like that. Perfect. Blue page. I'm going to stand it up a little bit. There we go. Yeah, we need a new blue page. <laughs> and there's another journal card. <laughs> oh, they never end, do they? <laughs> Just as well. Right, let's find this bit that we've got here. That'll look good there. Or do I want to pop it here? Yeah, I think I'll pop it there. So let's just get that edge off. Well, that didn't work, did it? There we go, that's better. Now. And these are going to just be one of those tags that are just going to match lots of different 
style which is great because it means that they're very versatile and um, when I'm making up ephemera that's what I'm looking for versatile ephemera unless I'm actually making for a specific book and then I want you know specific uh, let's get a little bit of this <clears throat> I think I could take that's nice I like that bit so if I push it about there and it wants to come down about here let's hope that that's okay yeah that's perfect noisy cars it's Sunday don't you know <laughs> Need a little bit of something there. Um, 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 um. You know, I might use a tiny little bit of gales, so I think it'll look good. Let's just tear this bit. Yep, yeah, because yeah, the pinks match up. That's lovely. I'm liking it. Gail, I'm loving this kit. I hope you're watching because it's absolutely gorgeous. Thank you very much. Right, there's one done and we need to put a focal point on. So where was them focal points that we saw? There we go. So, I kind of like that one with the hats. And what I might do is do some layering behind it. So let's just, uh, let's just get this one torn out. Okay, and then this one. And then we'll have to try and line it up. So let's get the envelope. And pop that in. Oh, just a little bit there we are so we want her to be about there so where's my pencil so if we take her off there maybe a little bit higher we'll put her there well that's a good pencil <laughs> the pencil that's got no pencil <laughs> If we take her off there and then about there, maybe a little bit further down. Right, okay. I want to keep her, actually, I'm going to take her all the way down to flowers. There we go. There's a nice little snippet. And then what I might do is take this down a bit further. So that we've just got the focal point. There we go. Right. I am quickly going to rub that out. And I'm going to distress it. And this way, it doesn't matter which one of these cards you pull out, you're still going to have a focal point. And if you pull them all out, you're still going to have a focal point. So. <clears throat> so I'm going to put her about there. Just put a little mark. There we go. Let's make sure I've got her lined up properly. About there. Right. Now, I want something behind her. Um, what can we put behind her? And I want a label as well. So we need something. Hmm. Let's think, let's think. What do we have? We have, somewhere I do have 
some nice paper. Right, I'll be back again. <laughs> this is turning into a gargantuan task, isn't it? Right, let's see. Oh, I've got my pairs encyclopedia. That'll do. Okay. I'm just going to go a piece of paper out of here. There we go. Right. Because I think this will match the kit as well. So. I don't want it being too neat. This is very delicate paper. It's very old. Just going to go across the bottom there. And then just carefully tear up this side. There we go. Right. Let's have a look and see what that looks like. Probably the right way, Eileen. There we go. Yeah, I like that. That's quite nice. And it's, it is all very neutral. But let's get some... Um, let's get a little bit of distressing on this. I quite like the neutrals. I think it's just got a certain elegance about it, which um, it just adds a nice touch. There we go. Tell me what you think. Do you think neutrals are good or do you prefer more colour? I quite like neutrals. Right, now I'm going to line this one up with those two marks and then I know I've got her around about the right place. I mean, she doesn't have to be perfect. We just want to see her poking her head through. So where did I put my two marks? So it's there and there. So we've got that about there. Is that about right? That's about right. Let's just straighten ourselves up a bit. There we go. Perfect. Now we'll get her on. Have her about central, yeah, that's about right. It is a little tiny bit skew if where I'm gonna survive. And I want a tag. Now I did have some. I had a couple that I really wanted to use. Probably should have put them away. <laughs> oh, found it. Right. Now these are just off cuts from some paper and I was cutting out the um I was cutting them out for another project. I think it was the sample, the little sample card things. But I think that that in itself is just going to look cute there with it being a neutral colour. I quite like it. And I might even stamp a word on there. I haven't decided yet. What I might do is I might leave that until I decide what journal I'm putting it in. Because then, you know, I can put on a corresponding word. Yeah, that's a good idea. Right, I like that. And that needs sewing around. Let's just make sure we've got her in the right place. Yep, there she is. Poking her little face through and the other lady with her lovely hair. I like that. And then that tag's just sticking out the top. Yep. Right, let's finish the other one. And then we're going to have a two card pocket. So, let's get a little bit of this on. do I do like having um, especially me flip out pockets um, definitely need another glue page I do like them to have like to be quite packed and to have different things in them right that with a little bit of ink. There we go. Better. Ah, new glue page. Let's put you in the bin. Okay, next bit. 
Um, I might put a little bit more music up at the top. If I do it that way though, that might look quite nice. Because we're going to have our focal point on as well. It doesn't have to be a whole load of music paper, just a bit. I quite like that. Yeah, that'll do. Do. I do love using music paper, I've got to say. It's just absolutely good. I've always found it nice. But um, getting to use it for a craft is just lovely. I did once, um, <laughs> I had a chest of drawers and I was going to cover the whole top in... Um, in music paper, in vintage music paper, and um, yeah, never got round to it. <laughs> okay, I can't. I don't want to lose that because I do like that. But maybe I could just use. That might look quite nice because I like the handwriting on that. Let's just get this bottom edge done. I need to get some the tear rulers I think right although that looks quite cute doesn't it and that won't be covered up you know what I think I'm gonna go with that actually I think I will I kind of like that Now it's probably not meant to, to inspire cuteness, but it's all right. I'm just going to tear that edge because I don't like it. Yes, I've got to think about straight edges. <laughs> oh, wow. I was watching Gail the other day and she says that she'd had a comment from um, from a new subscriber who'd been a scrapbooker and converted to doing well she was she decided to make a junk journal and she says it just looked it just didn't look it looked more like a scrapbook than a junk journal so one of Gail's suggestions was um try not to cut anything try to make a whole book without cutting with a pair of scissors tear everything and it, it gives it that extra little and I thought what a great idea I can feel a challenge coming on <laughs> but then I thought well that's what you do anyway so it's not really a challenge is it <laughs> I'm not keen on these things I used to be a scrapbooker I used to make scrapbooks myself and I did like at first I did struggle with this whole concept so I know where she's coming from <laughs> it's um yeah it's it's a struggle right let's get her torn down um but yeah I was laughing because I was thinking yeah it's what you do anyway <laughs> Not much of a challenge really, is it? <laughs> but maybe the challenge would be to make a whole scrapbook using scissors. <laughs> but then I think I would just end up going crazy. I quite like tearing the paper, it's the rebellious part of me. I think as kids you're told to, um, to be neat and tidy and to <laughs> no, not make a mess and and then you figure out that oh well actually there's a whole world of craft people who actually tear paper off for a living <laughs> there we go she's going to look great and I like the fact that she's going to be in the front so right let's get her out try not to move her and what I might do is I might cut it a little bit more at the bottom. There we go. I might... I'm saying cut it after what I've just said. Now I'm just going to tear it. Sorry, you've lost your feet. <laughs> there we are. I like that. Right, now let's get a piece of that paper. Where was it? I'm going to need another piece. Right, I'm 
just going to tear the bottom and then we can get started. There we go. Go about there. I was going to reach for my rule there, but I don't think I need it. And there's not much wiggle room at the bottom, so I don't want it too, too wide. There we go. Okay. I'm just going to quickly tear this bit off. There we go. Right. Okay. Ink, ink, ink. Just get this inked up and then we can get that popped on. And then that one will be done and we can give it a quick sew around. And we'll have the two pockets, uh, the first pocket full. And then we can do a nice tag for the other one. glue on this one and then let's see if I can remember where my lines are okay I wanted it quite low down I see it I see the spot there we go and then we'll pop this on hoping that I'm getting this in the right place should be let's see is that straight it's as straight as it's going to get <laughs> okay and then I want to do the same kind of um, tag as the other one just so that they all match up not too matchy matchy but matchy enough that's what I'm going to write me on dictionary one of these days okay I'm liking that and then where's the other one gone there's the pocket and there's the other one I think she's going to be in about the right place I'm quickly going to sew around these let's just get the lid on this and then we can get them in and see what they look like now I think I might do a zigzag stitch we've been doing zigzag stitch so we might as well stick with a zigzag stitch really nice sewn round I like that right let's get this second one done if this is a bit noisy just fast forward this sewing bit It gets a bit noisy, especially when I'm going fast. There we are. I think I upset her when I told her I was going to get a new one. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I'm talking to a saw machine. Yep. Poor oh, baby. <laughs> She gets upset with me. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I didn't back them. That's okay. I can still back them. That's not a problem. I'm not going to back them on camera because you've seen me back things before. It just means we're going to lose the stitching around the back, but that's okay. It's not a big thing. But what I could do is tear back them, like just tear the paper. 
and that might look quite cute actually right now let's see how these fit together so we get our first one in and there she is just peeking nicely and then our second one and there she is just peeking nicely out that window and because it's the the cards are not as wide as the flip out it doesn't matter that the that it's got two cards in because they've actually got plenty of room left in there you could even put some more stuff in there but i like her popping her head through that window and that's going to make a great flip out and i will back those cards um right so let's get on to our tag so we were starting to um, collage it where's gail's papers let me find them okay let's pick another page from the kit that's pretty i like that snippet oh look at this lovely lace oh i like that do you know i might just go straight down with that and then tear it a little bit further down where's my rule I love these kids. I've been dying to do one of my own and I think I will eventually. I just haven't gotten round to it yet. Let's see. There we go. And then I can just put a strip of some in there and there. Right. Let's get this on need to move a few bits out of the way and then we can get this sorted there we go <laughs> I can't pick it up there we go oh dear me try and get that lined up a bit Okay, now let's see. I like that snippet roll. I wonder if that'll go nicely along the bottom. Let's get that torn out. And I might just tear straight across. I like the bit with the bling on. I think that'll look really nice. Yep, I like that. Let's, uh, let's get that bit torn right. And this side. There we go. You can always use them little bits for something else. Right. I love a little bit of bling now and then. There we go. And we just need a little something there. I think I might put something kind of that way because it is all kind of this way. And I'm sure that you understood exactly what I was talking about. <laughs> I like this. I'm kind of. I wonder if I could just. Off. let's have a look and see what that looks like that's better that gives it a bit more a bit more direction bring it down a little bit because that kind of I might just tear that bit off give it a bit more definition that's better I like that right okay Let's get that bit on. Yeah, I'm liking that. Okay. Okay, okay. I just need to do the back. Now I think I've just put all of my coffee time paper away. Hold on. Do I have some scraps that we can collage with? 
might go away with some of it with this. So I'm going to need a little bit more. Come on, there's got to be one tiny little bit. Oh, I know what I have got. If I've got them in here, if I can find them. Got some quite fun. There we go. Now I can't quite remember. I think these are vectorial design, but what I'll do is I'll find out for sure and then I will. Oh. No. Well, we're not using them. <laughs> Let's have a look and see if I can find something else. Oh, dear me, dear me. I will find something, don't worry. I've got a little bag of. Uh, mixed pieces here there'll be something somewhere just not in there <laughs> right give me one second i'm going to go and get some copy dye paper because i've got everything spread out everywhere since my amazing idea to um, tidy up the craft room <laughs> and now i can't find anything <laughs> Oh, I know where I've got. I wonder if that'll be big enough. Let me just check. Yep, yeah, that's perfect. Now what these are, this is what happens when you print with an um, a inkjet and then um, coffee dye it and all the colours of the ink run. And it was an experiment and I just love the way it worked because these are all like flower patterns and I think it, the, the colours going across it and the effect that it's given I love it and it's lovely for journaling on so it was a genuine um, a genuine experiment I just fancied um, trying it and seeing how it went because uh, very early on in my um, crafting career when I started coffee dyeing things I figured out that um, that the ink runs unless you use a laser printer and then when I figured that out I thought ooh now wouldn't that be cool wouldn't that be very cool and I like that that kind of yeah I like that so yes I'd, I was trying different designs to see how they would work out I did some um, some Christmas ones they didn't turn out quite so good that you know there was too much red in them and they just went like a mucky brown colour um but these ones with the pinks and the greens and the blues they actually looked quite good so i was quite pleased with them and um it was a fun experiment i've only got a few of them left actually i might try and do some more but you know what it is when you do experiments it's very difficult to get the same um, results isn't it because it just sometimes it just doesn't work I'm just going to trim that a little bit closer and then I might trim down the side of this just because it is a little bit raggedy a little bit too raggedy try and get it a little bit straight right okay there we go so that one's done now I'm just going to move these papers out of the way, I think we're done with them and I want to cut the tag. So let's just give this a quick cut. Wait a minute, <laughs> get it right on otherwise you're going to have a skewy tag. <laughs> there we go, right. I'm loving my new board. I hope you noticed my <laughs> new board. Isn't it great? It's so much bigger and there's it's so much cleaner. <laughs> it's not, not as scarred as the old one. <laughs> yet. <laughs> say yet because you know. Right now what am I going to use as a focal point? 
I kind of like the idea of using a flower of some kind. Maybe. Hmm. I'm a little bit, let's see. I've just got these, so I don't think any of these, no, they're not going to be big enough, those ones. Right, I'm going to get my flower ephemera book. If you'll excuse me, um, I'm just going to quickly bend over and get this. There we go. Okay, go back on the shelf and stay there. <laughs> I'm going to have to get that shelf sorted. <laughs> right, am I the right way? Yes, I am the right way. Okay. Oh, yes, I've got these ones, which I quite like. I got these ones from Tiger, which is a Scandinavian shop. And they have the most beautiful flowers with a little bit of bling on them, which is exactly what I was thinking about. Nope. You know, a sunflower kind of... Uh... It goes that way. That's nice, isn't it? Yeah, I like that. And that's going to... That's going to pop. I like that. Okay. So we have that. That was quick. I'm not even going to bother putting this back up there. <laughs> because everything will fall on me. <laughs> oh no, there's one escaped. Put you over to the side. Right, it needs something behind it. So did we have any more of that paper left? I think we did. Let's get me encyclopedia. This is quite an old one. I love pears encyclopedias. Right now. Do you want it at the bottom? Okay, why not? I am just going to tear around as it as it's on the page. I don't want this too big. Luckily, this paper is very, very fragile, so it tears quite well. Oh, yeah, I like that. That's nice. Yes. No, we like that side better. Where's our ink? Let's get a little bit of ink on. Comes in really handy, this paper. <laughs> I'm going to be lost when I get through that book and I will get through it as big as it is. <laughs> Eventually there'll be none left. <laughs> oh do you mean then I'll be making the shops out. I'm going to go in new glue page because it's sticky. And there's another tag. There we are. Okay, let's get this put down. Right, now, it's going to have to go quite low, I don't want to cover up that bling, but I want to be able to see it, or at least some of it in the window, I like that, it really needs a tag of some sort, um, I'm just going to quickly trim around a bit of this white because it's a little bit too much. And then we can get that inked up and put on. And because this is paper and not card, you know, you can get away with a glue stick. So there we are. Just a little bit too much white for my liking. Right. Cover up that. These have already got quite a vintage feel to them, these, and they're absolutely lovely. I'm going to have to get down and get a few more, because I think I'm running out. They do, like, lots of different types of sets, so you can get mushrooms, um, animals, um, what else can you get? Well, there's all the flowers, and then there's um, angels. Um, I don't think there's, there's any people people. There's angels, but I don't think there's any people people. But there's just all sorts of different ones and I absolutely love them. I'm going to just twist that round just a little bit. There we go. Right. 
Now we need to label. I'm going to have to um, risk the <laughs> the shelf. <laughs> Don't fall on me. <laughs> right. Let's see what I've got to label. Um, we've got these nice ones that I got off. Um, was it Tracy Fox? That might have been. I quite like that one. It's nice. It's a bit white. I suppose I could use. Oh, I know what I've got. Yeah, we're going to use this one to put that one back on the shelf because, again, <laughs> it's going to collapse on me. Right. Let me just see. Get rid of this because it's sticky again. And I need a clean page for this. Now, let's see if I can see it handy. Right, I have my brush. So let's very gently just take the white off this. Without it being obviously inked. There we are. Perfect. And now, if I ink the edges... nicely aged up I like that perfect okay let's get some glue on it I want to try those um the um coloring inks that um I think it's um Patricia has done um and the the the, the inks that you use and you can actually uh it inks up your paper for you um instead of tea dyeing so that you can i suppose they'd be better if you do print out ephemera and you, you, you know because my printer isn't doesn't work very well it's a bit screwy but i'm quite happy with that that looks quite nice um it needs a word but what i think i'll do is again i'm going to wait until i decide which um journal it's going in and then i can put a corresponding word yeah, the kind of the, the inks that you paint onto the paper and it'll if you want to print onto paper my my printer doesn't take coffee dyed paper very well so um so i can't print on, well if i do i, I risk breaking a, a very expensive printer um so i don't print on coffee dyed paper so i want to try some of her um i can't remember the name for them you're probably screaming at me as well Oh, it's like a, if you paint it onto the page and it gives it a coffee dyed effect. I really, Gail's used them and I think Rachel's used them in their videos. And I really fancy trying them. Now, before I go across the top, I did pick out a piece of lace for to make a topper. Now I've got some organza ribbon and a piece of um, blue lace and I just want to do a simple folded over little um, tab top. So let's just get these right and then I can sew these straight on because I always forget to sew them on and I always end up having to sew them on afterwards. So cute I'm liking that and that tab top works nicely right let's see if we've got this flower in the right place oh yeah yeah I did say I was going to cut it down a bit that's fine I've still got wiggle room there's still wiggle room don't worry 
Right. There we go. Okay. That's just gonna just cut these corners. Actually, where's my corner rounder? It might help. Okay. Just that first little bit. Okay, I'm just going to trim it just a little bit more. So I've just trimmed it down a bit more. Put the whoops a daisy corners back in. That's better. Now it fits all right. There we go. I love that. Just trim that little bit of thread there. There we go. Okay, yeah, I'm loving that and it looks lovely, that little window. I love it, I love it. So, we've done a pocket tag and we've done a little flip out with plenty of journaling cards. So we've got the one, let's show, we'll have a show and tell. So there's two, one's bigger than the other one. I love this image. I love these old like 60s, 50s, 60s images, they're just... I don't know, there's an elegance about them, there's a Jackie Owen-ness about them. And then um, the nice pocket and we've got our lovely little, that's almost a, a Victorian kind of image isn't it, which is just as good. I like that. And I love those papers, which are both are gorgeous and so fun to play with. And then um, we've done our Gale pocket with a tag and then we've got our lovely flowers on. And this can be, um, what, I'm, what I might do when I use this one, I might glue it on three sides, glue it that way and then it can be a tuck in as well and I might create a little, actually one of these might be big enough, yeah there you go, I might create one of those to go with it so that we've got a corresponding um, journal card to hook into the side. So I hope you've enjoyed that, I hope you've enjoyed um, crafting along with me and just Coming on my little journey of um, <laughs> of whatever this is. <laughs> um, so yeah, drop a like if you've enjoyed it. Drop a comment. I love hearing from you. And um, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe because it gets better. Believe me, it does. Well, I don't know, but it will. <laughs> okay, right. I'm going to leave it there and I'm going to say goodbye. So take care. Stay safe, stay healthy and happy crafting. Bye.